Um, another one is kind of a, it sounds like a little bit more of a general question, but, uh, you know, it, it goes back to some of the dynamic approaches that we use. Um, what would you recommend for doing a seismic analysis? Would you use the, the frequency response analysis as well, or is there a, a different method you would recommend? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, I, I think it really goes back into, um, you know, what that particular load function looks like. If it's a, um, again, if it's a completely sinusoidal in nature, um, you know, where you're input in, inputting in and outputting, um, you know, really, um, you know, sinusoidal type waves, then just the uh, just the frequency response um, portion is probably all you would need. need. Um, you're just going to give it amplitudes, and it's going to assume that it's sinusoidal. Um, if it's uh, you know, like if it's like that time signal that I showed you in the beginning. Um, where it uh, really looks, um, you know, almost completely random, um, then you probably want to uh, take the uh, the four-step method that I outlined here. Um, now, you know, there's a lot of other type of inputs. Uh, maybe it's uh, like a triangular pulse, or um, maybe it's a uh, um, maybe maybe it's a shock load that looks like a, a single or maybe double sine waves. In that particular case, um, you could uh, probably run the uh, transient analysis. Um, it's more general. You could put in any versus time um, type of a uh, load history, um, and then you could get uh, um, results to calculate the response of that.